morning, SEA. Here's what you need to know this week. First, a reminder to all students that there are no classes on Thursday and Friday this week as teachers will be in Calgary attending a teacher's convention. We also want to remind all high school students with spares, if you are leaving the building, please sign out at the office when you return and be sure to sign back in when you come back. We are obligated to know who's in the building in case of an emergency. Petro Challenge is an opportunity to compete in teams of three against 500 other students in computer simulated oil drilling and business negotiations. The grand prize includes a trip to London, England to compete internationally. Competition dates are December 9th to 10th or 11th to 12th. See Mr. Chung for registration and more details. On the junior high front, the grade 8 Bible class would like to express their gratitude for those who made donations to the Mustard Seed and Strathcona Food Bank. Many families were blessed thanks to the efforts of those who brought food. Staff, students, and parents of SCS are invited to join our worship team every Thursday morning in the North Link. Praise and worship will start at 8 a.m. We would love to have you join us. Don't forget that October is Anti-Bullying Awareness Month. We're going to highlight the important events by wearing blue on Tuesday, October 21st. We hope to see you all participate. Looking outside of school, if you're a babysitter looking for more work, the Parent Link is again hosting the Babysitter Connector event coming up on Saturday, November 8th from 3, 1 to 3 p.m. See Ms. Waddell for more information. As 2014 marks the 75th anniversary of Canada's engagement in the Second World War, our government has announced a new national tribute to honor all living Canadian veterans of World War II. They are eligible to receive a limited edition lapel pen and a certificate of recognition. If you have a grandparent or great-grandparent that served in World War II and would like to register them, please pick up an application form in the school office. Now over to Colette for sports. Thanks, Aaron. Varsity boys and girls were in action last week. The boys defeated a tough Holy Trinity team three sets to one, and the girls blanked Louis St. Laurent in three straight sets. Both teams also played at the Mournville tournament last weekend. Our junior varsity girls volleyball team currently sits in first place in their division. The girls played McNally High School this past week and also participated in the Lillian Osborne tournament last weekend. Our junior senior boys and girls volleyball teams had a great week as well. They both swept Rudolph Hennig 2-1 and are at or near the top of their respective leagues. Our junior junior boys and girls volleyball teams also swept Rudolph Hennig last week as well. Congratulations to all our volleyball teams on their continued success. That's all for this week, so until Monday, I'm Aaron Wilms, and bless your faces. Now over to little Colette for the news. What? Nope. Not the news. I mean, this sports. Now over to Colette for the news. Sports. Now over to Colette for the news. <laughs>